Hey guys, it's Melanie here from Christian Wyatt Books and more and today I'm going to bring you a wrap up. I have not given you guys a wrap up in a very long time and when I had posted a tweet out asking you what kind of video you guys wanted me to do, you had asked me for a wrap up video. And I totally understand because literally it's been since July since I did a wrap up video. And partly it's because I haven't read a lot of books. So for the month of September, I ended up reading some books. October was a no-go. I was waiting for some books to come in through the mail and I was a little disappointed with that. And then we did NaNoWriMo for November. So all in all, I read a total of three books so far, one audio and two physical copies, and I will show you what those are today. Okay, so first up, I apologize that there's a lot of light coming in. We are facing the west, and so with the sun going down, it's going to give me a lot of shadows, and I have to apologize ahead of time. So as we are saying, I've read only a total of three books in the last little while, um, and that is including an audiobook. And the first one that I finished was the audiobook. I had gotten from the library Love Story by Karen Kingsbury. And so I was reading that in the car as I was trying to attempt to read some other books at the same time. Now, I really did like the audio version of that book. It actually was really good. But the book itself, it just fell flat for me. I wasn't really attached to any of the characters. Some of the issues that were brought up in the story were really good. Um, one of them being disaster relief and what happens to someone when they're dealing with a disaster and all the stuff that they're going through. That was really intriguing for me and um, because we don't, we have issues in Canada not on the scale of um, what was being done in this book. So it was really nice for me to hear and see all the entails of that situation and kind of get the behind the scenes in that. But overall, I felt like that there was a lot of potential there and it just fell flat for me in, in terms of character, in terms of the situations I just couldn't relate to some of them. And some of them I could relate to was a little fleshed out more than I anticipated. Also, um, some of the relationship issues were interesting. I just wasn't really close to these characters. I think because there's a lot of people who have read and I actually have the books, I just have never read them before because they were given to me or I had purchased them secondhand and just haven't gotten to them yet. Those stories are really nostalgic to a lot of people and I think a lot of people were really wanting this backstory of the characters for the Baxter family. And uh, for me personally, it just, I didn't felt at all attached to them. So I rated this uh, story a three star. Bumped it up a little bit to three stars than I an anticipated. I was gonna be doing about two and a half, but I thought, you know what, this is a really well-known author and I think she's a great example of following after your dreams and what you can do and accomplish. And she does stand for a lot of good Christian morals and things like that, so I bumped it up to a three for that reason. But the story itself just didn't do it for me in, in the entire thing. The second book was The Glass Castle, so good. It's by Trisha White Priebe, I think, or Pribe, I'm not sure, and Jerry B. Jenkins, who I respect. He does a lot for the Christian writing community, and I enjoy his thoughts. He gets great articles and stuff, encouraging writers, so yes, really like this. This story was very dark, alluring and intriguing, extremely done well for the middle grade. A little dark though for that category of readers. Avery, our main character, she's riddled with a lot of guilt. They're actually abducted, and this isn't a spoiler because it's right in the beginning of the book, we know what happens. She's abducted with her brother by this old woman and shoved into this crazy castle where she has to protect her brother, yet she's gotta find out some interesting facts about her family history and why she's even there in the first place. And so um, there's a lot of intrigue. I can't wait to read the next book. It, it does leave you on a cliffhanger. And so I was like really anticipating the next book, which I will have to go and purchase. But for a middle grade book, this was really cool. And compared to other middle grade books, I mean, it's just, it, the darkness or the things that are happening in there, the violence in the, in the sense of them being abducted by some crazy creepy lady, you know, is there and, and there's other books like that are the same as that. Hansel and Gretel is like one of them. It's almost like a retelling of Hansel and Gretel, but it's not. 
and it's just a really cool story. It's very unique. I've never read anything like this and I really thought it was good. I rated this one a three and three quarter stars or almost four stars book. Very, very good and definitely a good read for the middle graders. That was the other book, my first physical copy of September. The next book was a Melissa Tag book and this one's called Made to Last. I have no idea why I never read Melissa's books before. They are so good, so funny. I really enjoyed her writing. Her voice is incredible and her characters are completely flawed which I love. So in this story, Miranda, the main character, is battling her own insecurities, own identity of what she wants to do and what she'd like to do in the future. Meanwhile, she's on the set, she has this show that she's done, and she's kind of told a little white lie throughout this time. And that lie needs to have a face because it's going to be on TV. And so she has to face her fears and face the fact of this lie, which is really incredibly done, very humorously done, all for the sake of fame, which is kind of a thread throughout this entire book. You know, it really was a funny read and I could totally relate to a lot of this. I think it was just hilarious. Um, with our main character. There's also the male character and he had his own story and was flawed just the same. And I really appreciate that about Melissa's writing. She doesn't write perfect people, she writes flawed people and the uh, faith elements in this book are there so it's really nice. I really appreciate this writer and I can't believe I haven't read anything of her before. Thank you very much for um, all your comments and encouragement for me to pick up this book because I did and I wasn't regretting it. And I rated this one five stars. And with that, I had a incredible blast. So I really encourage you to read this. That's it for my September uh, wrap up and unfortunately October had no books. I was really shocked actually when I went to my Goodreads. I was like, I haven't even finished a book in October. And the reason being was I had started these two books, A Matter of Trust by Susan May Warren and I just didn't finish it because it was the summertime, it was the end of the summer, it wasn't even cold yet and I just held on to this. Then I had stopped reading this, so I couldn't say that I finished this book either. Both of these are about 50% in. So those books there, I could have said I read, but I've only read 50% of each of them, so that's not quite fair. Then also, I was waiting for this book, which took an entire month to get to, actually over a month to get to me. I got it in the beginning of November, and at that time I was supposed to be doing NaNoWriMo, although it tempted me like very badly not to read this and just do NaNoWriMo but my goodness it took so long and I was really depressed because <laughs> I really wanted to read this book and it just never came in the mail so that was part of the reason I didn't finish two of the other books that I could have claimed that I read already and this book did not come in the mail for me so this will be on my TBR for January Actually, I'm going to try to get to it this month, but I have another book that I'd like to show you I'm going to read soon. So stay tuned for my TBR and currently readings video that I will be putting out soon so that you guys can see the books that I'm actually reading right now and loving and also what I plan to read to finish up the year because I really want to finish up the year. I'd like to do what I did last year and give you a wrap up of the entire year and what my rating system was, etc. And with that, I will leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye!